the past couple of days I was hanging out with actors and legit filmmakers. And today, today I'm dropping a half mukbang, half info video about food. <laughs> Let's talk about the Philly cheesesteak. The cheesesteak originates from the city of Brotherly Love, the city of Rocky, the city of the Liberty Bell, the city of the Eagles, Philadelphia. Back in the 1930s, the food market looked way different than today. Pat Oliveri, a local hot dog vendor, got really bored of eating the same food. So he got some thin sliced beef and put it in a hot dog bun. A lucky cab driver pulled up and purchased the first Philly cheesesteak sandwich ever. The feedback was great and Pat started to focus on his invention that gained so much popularity that it became one of the icons of Philadelphia. Now that you know about this, well, thanks for watching, see you in the next one. <laughs> no. Of course this story will end with us trying with us trying a different house. We went to the you will see. Now, after this intro you might think that we are going to Pat's place. But since the cheesesteak become this famous, there are just too many places to go and every time the difference would be like between two Big Macs from two different McDonald's. For this reason we are going to the Philly market. The food is good if the line is big. The food better live up to the expectation. <laughs> this cheesesteak place is just no, wonderful. Yeah. One and a half year ago, we came here during Christmas, and this whole place was closed. We came here just for this cheesesteak. I guess no food cheesesteak today. But maybe something's open on Market Street. Let's go to the Market Street. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Beatbox. The market street is open <laughs> on Christmas! And now, now we are here. It's again a holiday and the place is open, finally. Uh, can I get a cheesesteak sandwich? No. Yeah. Alright, fries and that. At this point, I'm not sure if I'm 999 or 666. <laughs> Zero one. <laughs> it's not even focusing. Focus, focus. Welcome to my first uh, mukbang video. Hey. Are we fine? Yeah. Fine to eat? Yeah. Alright, let's see how it's a good food cheesesteak. Yeah. That's good. This is what I'm talking about. This one. Mm. The, like the cheese tastes better than last night. I don't know what kind of... Like it was American cheese, I got the same thing, but like... It just tastes better cheese-wise. I think I'm gonna be a millennial real quick. You're saying that you want to be a millennial? Yeah. I'm currently recording with two cameras. <laughs> That's true. He's a millennial. Look at this. Mm. The ratio of the meat and everything. This is perfect. Oh yeah. So I'd rather... Oh. No, what I'm saying is like... Be the be like the cook. <laughs> <laughs> it's just worth it. Mm -hmm. it's worth 
Probably it's even better than a Slipknot concert. <laughs> oh, food is my everything. Mm. I like how little kids are looking at us and they're like, oh, they're vloggers. <laughs> daddy, daddy, look, a vlogger. Bacon, meat, cheese. Mm -hmm. Bellissimo. I don't get cold till December. <laughs> All right, guys. I had to take you guys to this spot because the quality here at this cheesesteak place is always the same. It's always good, and I give a nine out of ten because there's always place for improvement. So I cannot give a ten to them, but it's really great. Especially this was the first time when I tried this cheesesteak out with bacon, and it just gives an extra kick to the whole sandwich. If you guys want a good cheesesteak, just come to Philadelphia and go to the Reading Terminal because it's it's great and it's worth it you guys can also try the crepery the crepe place in here that's really good too and probably you can you can just try out a bunch of new tastes uh, so sad we're gonna just go and walk around a bit I will drop this camera off and I will close this video right now uh, thanks for watching if you enjoyed it then leave me a like button in the comment section below and make sure you're subscribed it's freaking free so Click that subscribe button, please, that helps me. And uh, see you in my next one. Bye-bye.